You're all aware of the controversy raging across Canada about uh, municipalities permitting mosques to install loudspeaker on the minarets and give out a call to prayer which says, you know, Allahu Akbar, God is the greatest and that there is no other God uh, but Allah. And this is going directly into the homes and neighborhoods of people who believe otherwise because the vast majority of Canadians are, of course, non-Muslims. But my fear was that this will be misused, uh, even to a further degree. And it happened before I could even wait for Ramadan to end. Just the uh, last few days, uh, uh, the, uh, one of the mosques in northern uh, Toronto, right smack into a neighborhood of uh, the Jewish community, listen to what this man is saying. very powerful man. Uh, this, this night, night is, is better, better than, than a thousand, thousand years, years possible. possible. He is offering the Azan, but he goes more than that. He takes on and attacks the state of Israel and says that dealing or connecting or trading with any Zionist is not permissible in Islam. Of course, he doesn't say the word Jew because he's smart enough. But when you go out there, take out a loudspeaker, give out a call to prayer and ask people and bring politics into it. Not just that, just see what he says. And he is totally against the occupation of Palestine, he's against the illegitimate Zionist regime and he calls for the liberation of the Holy Palestine. And he, and he also calls for boycotting all, all the Zionist business. Uh, he, he says that it's that illegal, illegal and it's forbidden for, for, for any Muslim, 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 especially the followers that follow him, him, him to, to, to do any to business transactions with, with, with any Zionist. Zionist. What business does this man have, this Canadian have, to invoke the leadership of Ayatollah Sistani and then claim that most of the people in that mosque follow the Ayatollah Sistani who student or whose followers are Imams at that mosque and yet there is no reaction to this none of the municipalities say imagine if this went wide and we have mayors like Bonnie Crombie mayors like John Tory so, uh, councillors communist party councillors giving their blessings to uh, the chant for them, this is playing with Muslims as if we are some uh, clown, uh, you know, clowns in a circus, so they just have to get entertained. And so they throw bits and pieces, not of real rights, but to give leadership back to, you know, a priest. Would they allow that in uh, Catholicism? Would they allow that to happen? Uh, 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 um, uh, that Anglicans would start out and say, we will now tell you what to do. Bringing politics and religion together, we have seen the results of what happens. We've seen the papal wars. We have seen how uh, Islamic caliphs have, uh, you know, literally wiped out Prophet Muhammad's family. And yet here, where there is enlightenment, where we have a tradition of, uh, you know, separation of religion and state, we've got our own mayors and politicians approving of this nonsense of somebody taking a loudspeaker in the middle of a Jewish community and blaring out the call to prayer and then condemning the state of Israel. And he talks of occupation. Why doesn't he talk of the end of occupation of the Kurds? by the Turks. Why doesn't he talk about uh, the, the freedom of the Balochistani people, the Baloch people that are being occupied by Pakistan, or the Saharans that are occupied by Morocco? No. The only occupation that matters is one that satisfies our hate, our hatred instincts. And we are fanning that hatred right in the middle of Ramadan, and that too in the middle of the city of Toronto. People, we got to wake up. We got to stamp out any hatred that comes from any place against any other people. And if you don't do that, all the gains of the past will be lost.